ESPN, the ultimate pre-season. Welcome back to the USA Men's National Team, presented by Nike Plus, says Dominican Republic head coach John Calipari, uh, the University of Kentucky, strategizing with his team. Second year on the JOB for Coach Cal, and you know it's fair to say that the Dominican Republic Basketball Federation had been in a state of flux before he has come in with his staff, including Del Harris and Orlando Antigua, and really solidified where they are improving on their world ranking. And they have been a very transient bunch of late. They haven't been home since early July. Now, luckily, they did a lot of their training in Lexington, Kentucky, so Coach Cal was able to spend a lot of time both with his Kentucky team, his family, and also with this team from the Dominican Republic. He'll fly out of Las Vegas tonight. He will be in Washington, D.C. tomorrow morning at about 6 a.m. And he'll be on the recruiting trail. I think Kentucky Wildcat yeah. fans will be relieved to know. Off the Anthony miss. Calipari telling me it started in Puerto Rico, then back to Lexington for two workouts with his team, then the draft in New York on the 28th of June, and then practice the next day in Venezuela. Back to Lexington, then Las Vegas, Los Angeles last night for the ESPYs. And then Philadelphia on Friday, then down to D.C. for the game. And it's life in FIBA basketball. <laughs> Foul called on the play against Chris Paul. He was Fortuna uh, going to the free throw uh, line. John Calipari told me that they went to the ESPYs last night and sat with Del Harris and Anthony Davis. And when they said team of the year, he said, Del, hold my phone. And, and then when he said uh, uh, when he said Miami Heat, he said, Dell, give me my phone back. <laughs> Maybe next year, of course, they're always in it. You'll watch all the NBA Summer League folks action with Summer League broadband now for only $4.99. Watch live Summer League games on your computer and your mobile device. Go to NBA.com backslash SLBB to learn more. Team Las USA. Vegas Summer League going on right yeah. now. Uh, actually soon. Starts tomorrow, first game. Of course, Orlando's underway. Team USA will go to Washington, D.C. tomorrow where they'll continue their training camp. Play against Brazil on the 16th. Here's Kevin Love from downtown. He had a tough time shooting the ball yesterday in practice and misses that time. And ironically, he was the NBA's three-point shooting champion All-Star Weekend. How about the development of Kevin Love this year? 25 points, 13 rebounds a game. Second leading rebounder in the NBA. The former NBA's most improved player, Horford, up top with the game. Had it knocked away. Quick hands by the United States. Here's Kobe Bryant. Kobe on the baseline, kicks it out to Harden for three. That one halfway down and out. Harden, the guy, friend that's used to coming off the bench. A good fit for this team, right? Sixth man, right? NBA Sixth Man of the Year award. There's some talk it was uh, Eric Gordon and James Harden for that last wing spot. Foul on the play. That's going to go against the Dominican Republic. Actually, it's against James Harden. You know, Eric Gordon played so well in 2010. He was a defensive dynamo along with Russell Westbrook. And on the other hand, James Harden, you know, you talk about continuity. His two buddies, Russell Westbrook and Kevin Durant, members of the Oklahoma City Thunder. How much do you think that factored into the decision him making it? It's hard to tell. I, you know, I thought Eric Gordon, when I saw him in the first four days of practice, was terrific, especially defensively. But you cannot argue what James Harden gives you, especially coming off the bench with his potent offense. There's Horford. Horford telling me yesterday that the FIBA game has really helped him develop his perimeter game. Shooting a little bit more face up jumpers working against Kevin Love trying to back him down wheels on him a Whistle and a foul on the play it looks like it's going to be a Carry actually Bill Kennedy double dribble I Thought it was a too nice a hesitation move. That's the tenth turnover for the Dominican Republic He almost hooked Kevin Love right here, but this almost got away with that you know, I talked to John Calipari and the coaching staff about Al Horford, and they said, we've really turned him loose and allowed him to handle the ball in transition, shoot some threes. 
So you're absolutely right, Mark, about him expanding his offensive game for the Dominican Republic. Right, we saw a foul a moment ago against the Dominican Republic against Asselin. You hear players all the time talk about FIBA basketball being a lot more physical, and in the pick and roll game, there's implications there too. Correct? Another whistle yes. and another foul. Well, in the NBA, Mark, especially out on the perimeter, you know this. There, there's no hand checking. There's really no physical play, or at least limited physical play. FIBA basketball really is a much more physical game, and that's part of the uh, continuity and maturation of a lot of these guys. They are used to that now. Well, full court pressure. They get the turnover. Carmelo blocked, but fouled by uh, Al Horford. USA with a nice trap and. They get the turnover friend. Well, they don't have the great size of a Dwight Howard. They do have Tyson Chandler anchoring, but where they're really terrific, Mark.